With Studio at 6.5, users who are traveling or don't have access to a massive multi-speaker surround setup are still capable of creating Dolby Atmos immersive audio or spatial audio mixes. When someone mentions these terms like immersive audio, Dolby Atmos, spatial audio, you often think of a huge speaker setup but it's actually entirely possible to recreate that with headphones as well in binaural mode. You see, you could have like 64 speakers around you in your room, but still at the end of the day, you just have two ears, right? And technically it should be possible to simulate that 3D experience. And that actually is the case. With the new integrated Dolby Atmos renderer, you can monitor your Atmos mix in binaural mode using just your headphones with full control over the custom Dolby Atmos binaural metadata. And because Dolby Atmos is designed with maximum compatibility in mind, it will likely even translate well all the way up to a 9.1.6 and all the way down to a stereo speaker system. So yes, that's right. Your headphones are all you need to get started with your first full Dolby Atmos mix. Let me show you how to get started. For your first steps into the world of 3D and Dolby Atmos, I would recommend you to install a brand new Dolby Atmos tutorial that's available from the start page. You will find this in Studio One 6.5 Professional if you click on New and then you scroll and find the Mix and Surround Smart Template here. And then at the top right, you should select the Tutorial column. Now you can click on Install. And this should launch the installer where you can now click install one item. And now I'm ready to launch the tutorial. Let's go ahead and click OK to do that. And right off the bat, you'll notice another really cool Studio One 6 feature, which is this walkthrough guide. We actually have this for multiple smart templates inside of Studio One to get you started. And this tutorial specifically is supposed to walk you through the different stages of setting up your Studio One for spatial audio and creating your first mix in the Dolby Atmos format. So when we click next here, you can see that different parts of the screen are highlighted to draw your attention to important parameters, such as the audio IO setup. We're going to look at that in just a moment and also the song setup. Now at the heart of the entire Dolby Atmos workflow is the Dolby Atmos renderer that's highlighted right here. And I know that Joe is covering this much more in depth in his launch video, but this is really what we need to focus on also because this is where we can set all of the important settings for binaural monitoring so that we can actually create Dolby Atmos mixes using just our headphones. So how do we get the Dolby Atmos renderer to show up in our song in the first place? Well, it automatically gets added to the mixer main output channel when Dolby Atmos is selected for spatial audio inside of the song setup window. So if you go here to song and spatial audio, you'll be taken right away to this chapter of the song setup. Here you can now select Dolby Atmos mode and that's when the renderer will show up. Here you can also set your bed format. This is the format of your mixer console and the output format. So this would be set to your respective speaker configuration. So once the song is set to Dolby Atmos, we can now find the Dolby Atmos renderer and we can open it by clicking here where it says Dolby Atmos. This is what it looks like. And I'd just like to remind you once again that this is a plugin that's native to Studio One 6.5. It uses all of the latest softwares and SDKs from Dolby. It goes all the way up to 96 kilohertz, supports up to 9.1.6 speaker configuration and is included completely free of charge. The reason I'm pointing this out is that for other DAWs, the Dolby Atmos renderer has to be purchased separately as a plugin, which costs hundreds of dollars. And here it's just included for free for all Studio One 6 professional users and Studio One Plus members. So with that said, we can see that I have a speaker output here and I also have a binaural headphone output next to it. This is because I have an audio interface available with different outputs for my speakers and for my headphones and because I have the additional headphone option active here in the renderer. If you have an audio interface that just has one stereo output, for example, you would not engage the additional headphone output here in the settings. You would just leave that disabled and set your output to stereo if you're mixing on stereo speakers or binaural if you're mixing on headphones. However, if you do have multiple outputs available on your audio interface, it's super handy to click on this wrench icon here and enable the additional headphone output because then, for example, in my case, I would just have stereo speakers here. I could leave the speakers at stereo while keeping the headphones binaural 
and now I could listen to the Dolby Atmos binaural representation of my 3D mix on my headphones while monitoring the stereo mix on my speakers to make sure it still sounds good when it's folded down to stereo. This dual output monitoring with speakers and headphones is actually unique to Studio One. And what's also quite unique is that all of the most important settings of the Dolby Atmos renderer are available here from this remote panel that's next to the output channel section in the mixer console as well. Here you can quickly switch the headphones between binaural and stereo and do the same for your speakers to double check on 5.1, 7.1.4, 9.1.6 if you have that or any format in between. You also get a super handy volume knob that adjusts the overall global volume across all beds and channels, which is super handy in order to reach that very important loudness target of Dolby Atmos, which sits at minus 18 dBFS. One feature that's unique to the Dolby Atmos headphone experience is that you can set a binaural mode for each of the beds and object channels in your mix. This allows the mixer to set specific distances of beds and objects from the listener to shape the headphone representation of the Dolby Atmos mix and add depth and contrast. To get more familiar with these binaural modes that you can set, as well as with the object panners, the surround panners, and all the plugins that we also have in Studio One that are now fully surround compatible or native surround plugins even, I'm gonna cover that in another launch video, I really recommend you to check out the brand new binaural mix version of a Studio One 6 demo song, Rhythm of the Night, by Max Kanye. No, not the other one. You can get this now and it's an absolutely insane mix that Max has created just using his headphones and it translates amazingly well even to a 7.1.4 speaker setup which we actually tested in the Persona Software Studios over in Hamburg. So I'm super excited to show you this. Uh, I mean this mix is actually crazy. Put on your headphones with me if you want to and let's get started. To get this mix all you need to do here on the Studio One 6.5 start page is click on New, and then scroll down until you find demos and here from this drop down menu you select the binaural mix instead of the usual rhythm of the night demo song then you got to see this green button to install in my case i have it installed already you click ok and now you're fully ready to immerse into the beautiful world of dolby atmos using just your headphones I'm not actually sure if you're going to be able to hear this when you listen to this on YouTube, but let me switch the Dolby Atmos renderer output format to stereo for now so that you can hear this mix in stereo. And then I'm going to switch it to binaural and we can see if there's any difference. Now, once again, make sure that you're wearing headphones for this on speakers. This will obviously not work as well. So here we go. That's the stereo version. And now I gotta switch to binaural. Back to stereo. And back to binaural. Yeah, I think this sounds way wider and I love that here in the Dolby Atmos renderer you can also see all of the object channels that Max has placed here. By the way, with a double click you can just open these up and change these yourself to get more familiar with the effects that has on the sound. It's a complete rabbit hole if I'm honest. I already spent so many hours in this project just exploring the channels and uh, understanding the automation and everything that's going on. It's really a trip, but yeah. This is also a great project to get more familiar with the binaural modes. I would recommend you to just use the solo and mute buttons here that you have available on the object channels, switch the binaural modes around and just see what sounds the best. When you're happy with the way your Dolby Atmos makes sounds, then it's time to create a so-called ADM BWF master file, which is essentially just a WAV file with additional metadata required by music streaming services for Dolby Atmos encoding. You can do that also directly from Studio One 6.5 from the newly added export spatial audio menu found here in the song tab. So you just click on song, export spatial audio. You can also select additional mix down formats here to double check your mix on all kinds of systems from stereo to binaural all the way from 5.1 to 7.1.4.
In my case, I'm not going to do any additional mix down formats here. I'm just going to do the ADM BWF master file and I'm going to export between my looped section so it doesn't take too long for this presentation. I'm going to click OK. And now that ADM BWF file is going to get exported. And this is what the ADM BWF file looks like right after dragging and dropping it back into Studio One. It opens up with the Dolby Atmos renderer that has all of the set binaural modes here. And we also see all of the embedded channels within that file. But what do we do actually with this file now? How do we get this over to music streaming services like Apple Music, Amazon Music, Spotify, so that we can get into their prestigious and popular featured spatial audio playlists? Well, to do that, I would recommend you to use a service such as TuneCore. There you can simply upload that ADM BWF file that you just generated and they will take care of the distribution and you should see your very first Dolby Atmos mix featured on these platforms. So as you can see, Dolby Atmos and Studio One 6.5 is extremely exciting, not just for people with a full Dolby Atmos rig, but also just with a set of headphones.